Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's valued viewer request we have from Buzzkill. Question for the Supercap. To what extent is overging of stores model in DCS? Very good question. I think I've heard you mention it maybe once in all my 50 million plus views. Wow, 50 million plus views, Buzzkill. That's commitment to the cause. I think it's a major concern in real life, particularly negative Gs with bombs and other edge ground weapons. Can stores be over G'd with fast aileron roll? It seems like that would happen in real life too, but I don't really know. Right, now we have in our friends group in GR lots and lots of real life maintainers. I'm looking at one guy in the stream now who deals with this every day with F-16s. Yeah, in real life, this is a, a, a massive thing that pilots have to worry about. And luckily, most of the times, we don't have to worry about this or we don't have to worry about it very much. In real life, obviously, it is going to be very easy to damage stores through over G, positive, negative, maybe even rolls, I don't know. The problem, obviously, is when you pull a G, the store, a bomb or whatever, has weight and therefore a large force will be generated and that force is either going to damage a the weapon or b the connection of the weapon to the wing via a rack maybe via the pylon whatever I looked at this in several interviews how various pins can get snapped and broken even on non-high g flights just when you've gone to 3g and you've snapped a pin on a rack or something and it absolutely beggars belief the things you can damage um, and doing this maybe even with teapods and stuff like that I don't know uh, I look forward to hearing your comments back from the Valley viewers who have dealt with this kind of thing next let's talk about DCS incarnation of it first there are some aircraft we know these are modeled on because we've had it happen in missions JF-17 yes you can over G a teapod uh, JF-17 we can do it we know because in the SMS page the store will go red if you go above the allotted G's and you have to go back and repair it Mirage is the same I think in the Mirage they just fall off obviously you can't use it so they react in different ways and there's probably some other planes in there most of them I don't think it's modeled but we're gonna go and find out lots of planes I think I've got all of the planes in DCS at the moment that this is relevant to ie the plane has a chance of doing a relatively high G which means it can go above I don't know 300 knots and can carry an air to ground store and just to keep everything simple, I've just gone for a relatively large dumb bomb for each one of these guys, just to keep it roughly empirical. We've got the CAS planes, SU-25 and A-10. We've got the Warbirds, Mustang, Spitfire, I-16, 190 variant, A-109 and a P. 47 i think that's everything trainer planes c101 cc and somewhere is an l39 za there it is korean we've got the f86 f and the mig 15 biz early cold war we've got mig 19 we've got a f5e we've got a mig 21 biz contemporary or more modern planes we've got a wigan we've got an f14 we've got an f15 even though it can't carry air to ground i don't know why it's there we've got an f16 we've got a mirage 2000 we've got a flanker we've got a fulcrum we've got a harrier we've got a hornet and i think that's it so rc to do the test jump in the plane we do have protection against this in DCS, which is that we have various flight control limiters on. So in F-16, you go in and you'll have a different category of flight control system that you click on with a switch to say I want Cat 1 or Cat 2 or Cat 3 or whatever. And that will stop the aircraft automatically. The boys are talking about it on the stream. Look. That will automatically stop the aircraft pulling a G at which uh, will damage a store. So we're going to turn that off, override it, so we can do 9Gs and damage the store. Hornet, I think it's done a bit cleverer. It's done automatically. There's no even cat switch. It just knows what store you've got on. So we're going to have to use the paddle override to pull the G and so on. We'll just find a way of doing it. Then RC, if it's not obvious that the bomb has just flown off the wing or looks like it's damaged in the stores, like a Jeff, then go and try and drop the bomb. You don't have to hit anything with it, but just go and try and operate the bomb. If it doesn't operate, then it's broken. I'm going to do F5. Uh, as far as I'm aware, I've got no AFCS limiters. Right. Uh, oh, yeah, it just brings in that. Yeah. Uh, have fun. So you just need a... Oh! How about oh. that? How about that? So you just need a peak. Well, that technically was a high G move, but I don't think those bombs are going to drop, that. obviously. I don't think they're going to drop. Right, why don't you get in first, and then I'll get in afterwards. How about that? Oh, did you put us too close together? I wouldn't do that. So you're not looking necessarily for a sustained big, you know, pull up, because you can't do that in an A-10. But if you can just peek him up at... 789G, that would be sweet. Okay, everyone look at the bottom, you can see my G. I'm just gonna wang this thing right down. Watch this. Get some airspeed, just use gravity. Basically do everything you don't want to do in a dogfight. And I'm having a problem is that my cockpit won't load up here. That is a problem. We hit 10G there. If anything's gonna do it, 
And if, if it turns out, by the way, Valley viewers, that we can still drop the bomb, it's not that the, the real plane wouldn't, be, wouldn't break. That would break a real bomb in the real plane. There's no doubt about it. It's just that it's not modelled in the game. Uh, some of them just aren't modelled. Which I secretly like, because it's a massive pain in the butt when you do a two-hour mission. You go 6.1G and your bomb stop working. And it's like, you know what? I'll go and do War Thunder. Anyway, I shouldn't have said that. Right. No, did you no, no fuel in these? Is that what it is? Oh, I don't know. I haven't even looked. Why? Getting fuel warnings. All right. Well, look, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's, no. a, that's a you problem. I'm going to try and drop these bombs. That's my problem. Right. Let's see if this drops. Valued viewers. And drop. Bombs drop. Not modeled. F5. First one done. Uh, in terms of roll and stuff like that, guys, I've never seen enough G in roll or any G in roll that sets this trigger off. Uh, we would have noticed it by now. So I'm going to say it's almost certainly pitch G, if that's the right word, you know, a normal G force that's going to do it. In real life, I'm sure it's much more complicated than that. Right, F16. I can't. I, I see. I've run out of fuel on this, so there's no way to drop a bomb if I'm All have right. no power. Well, I've not come into the problem. I don't know why. It, why is there no fuel on it? All I need to do, I could just turn power off, go to the ground, use gravity. G's at the bottom of the screen. That's enough speed. And pull the G. That is 8.7. 8.7 value viewers. Now we're going to drop the bomb. If we can remember how to do that, we're going to go air to ground. We're going to go, uh, I think that's it. And aim down. And the bombs drop. They drop upwards, but that's because I'm flying negative G, by the way. Um, and I'm amazed it didn't hit my wings, which is quite good. Nothing else to say about that. Uh, F-16 is not modelled. F-15, we're not going to do value viewers because it can't carry bombs and has no relevance here. F-14. Okay, value viewers, i better get set up for the bomb now if I can figure it out. I've already run out of fuel in this, so that's going to be annoying. So we've got to do this yeah, without fuel. Did you not put infinite fuel on? Welcome right. back, value viewers. Sorry. Minor problem with the fuel that was now fixed. Off we go again. Well, I can do the pulling G bit, I suppose. So everyone watch the bottom of the screen. Well, six o'clock, two miles. Where's my airspeed? There it is. So, I'm going to do my big G. Don't want to snap my wings off, so I better be a little bit careful. Okay, I'm going to do my G. Seven, eight, nine and a half. 9.6. 9.6 G. Right, if that hasn't done it then. Oh, I've got, got a copy of it. Zap, zap, and. I'm get about 8 G on this. What is it? Yeah. 8 10. Yeah, that'll do it. If that's gonna yeah, it's still drop bombs, fine. Right, so that ain't that. Right, I'm gonna try dropping my bombs, May 14. Ooh. Oh, I blew myself up. Yes, they do drop, it's just me doing what I do at the moment. I wish they would remove that, it's so frustrating. Oh, apparently we've got a new flight model in this, I haven't had a chance to... Look, it's so busy at the moment. Right, here we go, guys. Alright, I hit 10G in the F-86, nice. so let's see. Seven. Eight. Eight and a half. And I can drop bombs fine. Oh, the bombs fall off. It looks like Rasband modules, the bombs fall off. The bombs fall off. On which plane? MiG-19. MiG In fact, the pylons come off. Oh, yeah. Uh, just the bombs. Right, so that's interesting. I'm going to go with the MiG-15. And this is where the money's at, guys. Now, this is a plane. Right, got to sit and work out how to drop a bomb. Okay, go for my pull in the 15. And, oh, no, I fit compressibility. No, we're fine. We're good. I can't get the G up. I don't know why. Seven. That is it before I pass out. Just hitting on 8G. I think that's the best I'm going to do. Bombs are still attached. And I'm going to try and drop the bombs. Hopefully without smashing myself up, which is what I always do, of course. Uh, don't have to. Yeah, bombs drop. MiG-15. What a plane. No, what was yours? F-18. Let's see. No, I'm seeing a pattern here. What about the Harrier? This should be interesting. The bombs fall off the Jeff. Oh, they fall off now. They used to just go red, but okay. Yep, no, they're, uh... Alright, well, I'm going to test this they now. They fell right off. <laughs> Valid viewers, where is the G? There it is. And Supercap is going to try and over-G the Harrier. There's a good chance it's not going to let me over-G this plane because of fancy avionics. Six, seven, seven point two, seven point three. That was actually quite hard. Now, is there any of these I can turn off? Off, off, off. Off, 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 off. Everything that could. Watch this, Valley viewers. I'm going to pull G in a Harrier. And. Zap, 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 zap. Oh! No, it still does not let you pull G, which is a little bit annoying. But 7.2, 7.3, 7.5, 8G! 8.2G in a Harrier. 
Ah. Oh, he had a small Andy, problem there. L39, the wings fall off. So that's Try again that's strictly a you problem. Right, and cap drop bombs in the what main Harrier. Drop. Oh, they are not dropping. Right, have I done anything wrong? Mast arm on. The bomb is armed. The bomb is fused. The bomb's got the right thing. I think these might simply not work. I'm pressing my button. Yes. I'm going to get the reflector cue to the bottom. That is a legal drop. And break. Drop. No. They no longer drop. Right. Now that's interesting. And they they go. They fall off. So I mean, they, they drop. So. Oh, they drop. So it's not modeled in L39, Roger. <laughs> I've got to be careful not to shred this thing or hit compressibility. Six, seven, eight, AG. And I have not snapped a wing. That's as much as I dare. Now I want to drop the bomb. Try and work out which button I press to drop the bomb. Which one? Yeah, it drops. Okay. Master arm is on, or whatever that is. Oh, okay. Mirage bombs fall off. Right, okay. Oh, I can't pull the G, it just stalls a wing. Okay, I, I'm not going to be able to, I don't think I'm going to be able to pull a G. Let's see if I can drop it quick before I lose my, or lose my soul. Back in control. Don't think I'm going to be able to do this one, I don't think. Whee! Nah, I don't think Rocket Ball 490. And All right, so I was able to pull 9G on the P47, and the bomb stayed on, and I could still drop them. No, so it's not modeled right. Good. Try and spit. Okay, spit's not modeled. Man, this is going to be interesting. Right, there's going to be stuff down here somewhere. 7G is about my max, I think. I think I might have tipped on 8G there, guys. Bombs drop. So where's my speed? There's my speed. Where's my G? There's my G. SU-27, no problem. Yep, I didn't think so. Right, G, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, pretty much. Running in for a bomb drop. Yeah, I guess I'm baby. Vegan, no. Uh, this old beastie weastie. Uh, I love this plane. This is one of my favorite in the whole game. Man, this is hard to pull G in this thing. Jesus Christ, I can't pull any Gs, look. Five in it. <laughs> 27. No, I'm in the uh, 25. I'm at 500 knots, oh. but it will not allow me to load. Part. It's an AFCS issue. It won't allow me to put any G on the plane. There we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. I don't know why that wasn't doing it, but we've got seven and a half in the end. I think that should do. Try one more time. But yeah, baby. Scooting, shooting, something. All right, it's 25. No. Okay. How am I going to get a G force out of this thing? Mm, answer. I'm probably not. Alright, I got 9G in the C101 and bombs dropped, fine. Yeah, okay, I'm doing the last one now then. Six. Sorting a wing at six. Seven. I don't think I'm getting past seven wings, diddy little wings. Let me see if I can drop a bomb. Should cap this drop. Oh, please drop. It worked a minute ago, and I had exactly these. There we go. No, it's not modeled. Yay, we're done, RC. Let's face it, everyone here loves a sexy data set. So, which aircraft is stores over G modeled to the fact that they either fall off or they stop dropping? FIV, no. F16C, no. F14B, no. A10C, one or two, no. MiG 19, yes, they fall off. F86, no. MiG 15, beers, no. Hornet, no. Harrier, yes, they don't fall off, but they do just stop working. Now, I've had that in a mission before, you know, and I was driven me nuts. JF-17, they fall off. L-39, no. BF-109, no. MiG-21, bombs fall off. Focal 490s, no. Miro 2000C, bombs fall off. P-47D, no. Spitfire, no. P-51, no. AGS, no. SU-27, no. MiG-29, no. SU-25, no. I-16, Tub-24, no. And the C-101CC, no. <gasps> What that telling us is that Decker Ironworks and Rasban modules do, no one else's does. Now, let's have first your opinion, whether you want that model or not, RC, and then my opinion. You can probably guess what mine's going to be. Send. If it actually happens, then I would like it modeled, yes. 
How interesting. I'm the opposite way around. I, well, like RC, I represent, you know, a large sector of gamers. And I would happy for it to be modelled if you could turn it off in a global setting. Here's the thing. Well, that'd be fine. Here's yeah. the thing. There's got to, got to, I know everyone wants realistic, 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 and that's fine. But there's got to be a limit. At some point, you're going to end up hating this thing uh, because it's just gone too far. And that goes over the it's too far for me. It's part of managing your... It's, yeah, but you don't always get the choice. Here's, here's an example for you. In a real aeroplane, yeah, you're flying along you are not going to get a weird lag spike that makes you zoom forward at 100G and all your bombs fall off. In DCS, do you know what I mean? There's going to oh, be things yeah, that like happen that real pilots respect, don't yeah. happen. That, and it's just like, brilliant. You know what? I'm going to go and do something else with my time. Most people that play DCS have, what, 18.3 minutes to play at a time. I think the, the average they tested. The major This is the majority. I know there's diehards, there's Hoggett and whatnot. Fine, great, but got to go somewhere in the middle. So, fine, put it in. Heat, uh, not heat blur, who are they called? Razbam. And, and u boats put it in, but give us a choice to turn it off because you will scare people away if you go too far. Anything you want to add to that, RC? I'm going to take that as a no. Goodbye, everyone.